and welcome back to Instant Replay. So earlier this year, we received an email from a viewer telling us about 1992 John Jay graduate Geneva Keaton and that we missed a big story after she accomplished an amazing feat and he was right. Back in May of 2018, Keaton successfully summited Mount Everest, which capped off her journey of climbing the seven summits, the highest mountain on each continent. I hiked around when I lived in Baltimore and mountain biked, uh, and then I moved to San Diego and uh, met my boyfriend who uh, hiked quite a bit. He was doing some higher altitude hiking, and he uh, talked me into hiking. I did that, and it was really tough, 14,000 feet all in one day. I got, actually got sick at the top <laughs> just from the quick ascent. I swore I would never do it again, and then I read a book called uh, Seven Summits, and uh, I was hooked. I decided that's what I wanted to do. Which summit did you start with? Mount Kilimanjaro I did in September of 2011, so that was first. Mount uh, Aconcagua in Argentina, then Mount Elbrus in Russia, that's the highest peak in Europe, Denali for the North America summit, and then Mount Vinson in Antarctica was next, and then Karsten's Pyramid in Western Papua in Indonesia, okay. and then Mount Everest was the last. We made it to base camp, one achievement. <laughs> I don't know about the rest. Here's the rest of camp. Having your boyfriend there with you on six of the seven climbs, how is that? How does that help you mentally? And, and does it help you physically as well? Our meal tent, that bright orange one there in the middle. The guide's tent's over on the top there. Oh, yes. No, you know, so it was uh, definitely a plus for us that so when you're paired with um, uh, someone else in your tent and for others it was people they didn't know. Uh, it was nice to have somebody there that you knew and were familiar with and you have your habits worked out. It's, not, it's also a good test for your relationships, right? being stuck in a tent with somebody for anywhere from three weeks to a month and a half on Everest. This big orange and gray dome is our kind of a hangout area. It's really nice inside. It's definitely helpful because you definitely need as much emotional support as you can get. There's a shower tent. You can see a little bucket at the top where they put the hot water. Have you had any close calls at all? You know, I don't know, maybe getting hurt or you, know, you had to go back because, you know, an avalanche or something. Do you have any weird stories or close calls or anything? On Denali, there's a large group of people, different teams, including ours. On our way up to 11,000 camp. One of the few nice days. It was a beautiful day, but we couldn't summit because there was an avalanche hazard just just slightly above uh, where we start, where you would start the climb that day for the summit. On Mount Elbrus, we actually got caught in a whiteout blizzard, uh, got a little lost for several hours. I think we we're out there for maybe 13 or so hours. And she in another blizzard. Now our guys were having trouble navigating. All their toggle switches on the GPS devices kept freezing up. and. There's no landmarks. In retrospect, I probably should have been a little more afraid. We were having trouble finding our packs when we decided we couldn't summit. Um, we were just trying to get back uh, down. And our guide had taken, um, I think, one or two other people with him to try to find our packs, and he told the rest of us just to stay there. And as he was walking away, you know, again, I said I wasn't worried. <laughs> and as he's walking away, he shouts, survive! Oh, no. And I said, did he just say survive? <laughs> <laughs> so then I was thinking, maybe I should be worried. I'm right? not sure. <laughs> so. Well, several of the pictures you sent me, I noticed you smiling. One of them, you're on a Burma Bridge in uh, Karsten. Tell me about that, because I think that's just an amazing shot, and you're smiling. Apparently, we lucked out that year, and that somebody had just installed uh, two ropes that you could hang on to or clip okay. into as you walk across the single cable. But I think in previous years, you had to hook onto it and kind of pull yourself across. I got you. So we're all a little worried about that. <laughs> Another one I like, too, is your picture above the clouds and, and Kilimanjaro. Mm. Uh, tell me your memory about, about that. Check it out. It was so beautiful. You know, I forget what altitude we started basically sleeping above the clouds. Um, and, and when you look at the photo, when I look back on it now, it almost looks like you're looking at, at an ocean because mm -hmm. you don't realize that you're that high. Um, but it really was amazing. That people are inspired and I truly believe I'm not um, a natural athlete and I, uh, I have to work hard to accomplish the things that I did even as a swimmer in high school. You know anybody who's discouraged by natural abilities or what they think they don't have you know I, I say you put that aside and you just if you want to do it you just work hard and make the commitment and get to it.